Hey everyone, this is Javert Valbar here for Inkscape Digital. Today we're going to be using Mocha to track an object and directly import the data into HitFilm to use as a mask. This saves time and is relatively easy to do. Let's get started by selecting New Solve with Mocha HitFilm and going up to the New Project icon and selecting the clip we're going to be using. I'll set my in and out points on the timeline by hitting the two buttons to the left of the playback tools. Next, select the X-Blind tool in the upper row and use this to draw the shape around the object you want to track. This shape will later become the actual mask, so make sure it's kind of close to the object's edges and follows the path clearly. To the right of the playback buttons, hit the track forward icon and let Mocha do its thing. After the stop sign track was done, I created another shape, using the same technique to track the bottom pole. Once these two shapes are done, select them both in the layer controls and go up to File and select Export Shape Data. The option you want is already selected, and all you have to do is hit save. The file type is a HitFilm composite shot that we will import into the software. And once I open it up, you can see that it comes with two layers, one being the stop sign mask and the other being the pole. In this case, I'll actually copy the pole mask and paste it onto the stop sign layer so that I have everything in one place. I've imported a quick explosion asset to put behind the sign to show you how it looks. Notice how the layer masks function the same as a regular mask. You can change the blend mode, expansion, feathering, and roundness just like normal. I got the original footage in the back by duplicating the stop sign layer and simply removing the masks. Also, because the stop sign is a normal layer, you can add effects like light wrap or matte cleaner to help it blend better with the background. Before mask tracking, I would have had to keyframe the mask position by hand, which is a time-consuming and very meticulous process depending on your shot. Now with Mocha, it pretty much does the tracking for you easily and quickly. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already for more tutorials on HitFilm 3 Pro coming soon. And follow on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.